What's going on guys, it's Riley Pearson from Pearson Visuals and I am going to teach you guys a very quick tutorial on how to make the easiest 3D text of your life. Let's get down to it. First off, open Adobe Dimension, click on the text icon, drag it so you can see it, input whatever text you'd like, choose the font, angle it to your liking. Now if you'd like to make it thicker, boom, change the depth, you want to add a bevel, boom, add a bevel. These are all the different presets. I'm gonna go with classic and mess around with these until I like it. Perfecto. Now to choose a material. If you'd like to apply the whole material to the entire text easily, click on the text here and convert to standard model. If not, we can add materials to different pieces of the bevel, the depth, all that jazz. Click the backslash to do a quick pre-render and see if you like it. One, two, and three to choose your viewing options. One to orbit, two to pan, and three to zoom. Now, if you're placing this text into an image on the floor or whatnot, now is the time to place it in the background. So click environment, click the, the color box, image, select a file, find that picture, boom, it's in. Now. And a good thing, I didn't do this because I didn't know the picture ahead of time, but to go to File, New Settings, and mix and create the canvas size to the same dimensions as your picture, but this will do just fine for now. Match it up with the floor best you can, or you can try and click Match Image. Boom pretty dang well and it changed the canvas dimension so that worked out quite well. Let's make it slightly smaller so it can fit in here. Now you'll notice that when you did match image it created some lights but it of course isn't perfect. Try and do the best you can. It of course is coming from both of these sides. Both of these, I'm assuming there's a window right yonder, and of course a window right here. So there's gonna be two points of light. Do a quick pre-render. Now it's looking pretty dang good. I'm gonna switch out the back texture real quick. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And I'll do a quick render and show you guys what's happening. I will always recommend high and PSD so you can select the certain materials and change it in post. Choose wherever you want to save it to and clickety-clack render. Let's bring it all in Photoshop and I'll show you how to make it even more realistic. So there is the, fi the final render from Adobe Dimension. It would have been higher quality, of course, if the background picture was higher quality, but we work with what we got. Now, here you will have, if you export it as a PSD, Adobe Dimension will render and create these additional files, material selection, object selection, and depth map. So we won't need any of those, basically. Let's make the final image the uh, final rendered image into a mask right quick. Let's get rid of on this wall because that's not supposed to be there. Let's take it off some of these rocks. If you want to see better where this shadow is actually going, you could give it a quick command I so you can see exactly where the shadow is going. I still got a little bit here. All right, everybody, and then Bing Blau Burr, you got yourself text that is perfectly matched with the light, with the environment, and with whatever materials, font, and words you'd like. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. Subscribe for more. Comment anything you want. New videos every Tuesday and Friday. Thank you very much.